what's going on everybody how we doing today hey uh real quick i want to thank you all for uh there was several people that sent me happy birthday wishes to my father yesterday that was awesome of you he turned 91 on friday he's doing great and uh that is a big blessing from the man upstairs so <clears throat> I'm going to do my version of a 2021 setup. I'm not going to get everything out, line it up, take a picture. That's been done to death. But I'm going to tell you exactly what each piece of equipment I have cost me. And we'll tally it up at the end. And that's what it takes to make me profitable in business. Just me, myself. You don't have to have everything I have. Trust me, I didn't have it for years. First thing I got is a $4,000 GMC 2500 pickup. Uh, nothing special. It's beat up. It's got some rust on it. I put new tires on it last year. So, yeah. There it is. One ton pickup. The next thing I have is the dump trailer. Okay, I paid right around $9,015 for that. Paid that off the first season I had it. Um, it's a 7x14. It can hold up to 10 yards of mulch. And like I said, that was two years ago I bought that. This is the third year. Um, never had one before this, and you definitely don't have to have it to get mulch jobs done, but it has been profitable for me. Uh, what I made off of the dump trailer, I actually paid the dump trailer off in eight months, the first year I owned it. Okay, the next thing I got is this little 7x14 single axle trailer. And I've got a sure can, which I will never purchase again. Green touch sure cage for that. I've got my green touch racks. This one was bought for me by uh, M. Linton, Mark Linton. That was a gift, so I did not pay for that. Got a pair of HC2020 Echo Hedge Trimmers that I bought two years ago. Love them. They're, I, I think they're one of the best on the market. Got a little MS170 chainsaw that's five years old. Still going strong. Still kicking. Also, I have the Toro, whatever you want to call it, whatever model, super recycler, uh, guaranteed to start. And that thing starts up on at least either the first or second pull every time. I love the fact that I can pull those, I can just pull these out. And the handlebars drop down to store it. It's not in my way over here. Of course, last year I had two V-Rides. I just sold one to D'Angelo with Lipsy Lawn Care. And now I've got my 48. Getting ready to change the hydro fluid on it, of course. There's my 48. So, this mower, because I bought two, ended up costing me $7,600. This trailer was $1,590. Bucks. 
Now that's without tax. Of course, my green touch racks, I believe they were 235. Then I've got two trimmers, the FS111R. I've got the FS91R. I paid 359 for this and 379 for this. I also have the Magnum BR800X. I paid 590 for that. I believe a year ago, 2 years ago, something like that. Hedge trimmers, I believe were 279. Chainsaw, gosh, five years ago. I can't remember. I think that might have been $259, $279. Not sure. The little holder here was uh, $28. That sure cage, gosh, I want to say was maybe $60, maybe $70. Um, of course, this little Toro Super Recycler cost me... 500 without tax, so I can't remember what the tax was on it, but 500 bucks there. Obviously, I have a Ryan Aerator that I'm trying to sell. If you guys watch my videos, you know I just had to uh, get do some work on the sprocket. But this was $3,160 uh, five years ago. I've got... A bunch of little sprayers that uh, little walk behind spreader I bought that for a hundred and fifteen dollars uh, eight years ago and it's still holding up so oh also uh, let me show you what else bought some Wolverine shovels that shovel was uh 49 bucks of course i have a wolverine edging shovel it was 84 way back when made in america guaranteed for life and i've got miscellaneous rakes and the little fisker pole trimmers and just miscellaneous shovels i think i bought that shovel my second year in business for $16 and I still use it to this day so then I've got my hula ho right there I think those were $17.95 down at Lowe's those are craftsman brand those things are awesome for weeding oh, I'm trying to think of anything else just little odds and ends, but the point of this, I saw a video from uh, Pastor Greenlee. Oh, also a wheelbarrow that is four years old now. I've put a different tire on it, but that thing it was $40. And... Uh, I did buy a Wolverine wheelbarrow that's in the back of my house. Paid 180 bucks for that one. And, you know, miscellaneous gas cans and, <clears throat> excuse me, all that. But I was watching Pastor Greenlee today on Clean and Green. And he was talking about, you know, you don't have to have new stuff to get out and make a living. So what I want to say is... At this point right now, I have no equipment that is brand new off the showroom floor. Um, I did last year. Other than my my racks from the Green Touch, the uh, other than these, because they're camo, those are brand new. My 91R is two years old. My 111 is a year old. My mower is a year old, both of them. My trailer is four years old. My dump trailer's two years old. Those are two years old. That's five years old. 
This is a 2000 truck. You can see that it's uh, got its issues. But uh, like Pastor Greenley said, you don't have to have new equipment to go out and make money. And you can upgrade as time goes on. But what I want to show with my 2021 setup is not everything has to be new. I've been doing lawn care for this. This will be my 12th season. Um, it took me probably six to seven years before I could go and buy everything brand new. Uh, some of you will say, well, why do you need new this? Why do you need new that? Uh, at some time and some point in your business, you will definitely have to have tax write-offs. So would you rather give the money to someone else or would you rather have newer equipment? So there's something to think about. And uh, my setup is totally different than anybody's. I'm going to put a list of how much I paid for everything at the end of the video. I'm going to add it up for a total. And over the course of 12 years, that's what I've paid to make a living. I work eight and a half months out of the year sometimes nine and we make a decent living we're not rich we're not poor we're not wealthy whatsoever um we can't just get up and go do what we want when we want to because i've devoted my life to this business and while the business goes on a lot of people will say hey I want to be able to just sit back and relax and let the business run itself. And that's okay. That's okay. That's just not what I want to do. I enjoy working. I enjoy the work. I don't want to pay somebody else to do it. Um, but, you know, that's my setup. And uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. Nothing fancy. Maybe it is to some of you, and I can understand that. It was fancy to me when I, when I started. I wanted to be here. I'm finally here. And uh, pretty happy. Pretty happy with it. So you'll find as you look through these prices... You don't have to be a millionaire to make a good living at lawn care. Now you can go out and spend a fifty to eighty thousand on a truck. You can spend six, seven thousand on a on a tandem trailer. You can buy four or five blowers. You can buy five or six trimmers. You can buy all kinds of stuff. Ride on aerators, all that stuff, and you can get started. Um, I think that would be foolish, but that's my opinion because you can take a shovel, a rake, a push mower, a broom, a handheld blower, and you can make a good living. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. As always, Dr. Real was in the house. Keep it real. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. We got plenty of work to do. Peace. I'm out.